Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. My name's Tom Needham, and today we're doing tutorial number two of my Free Pascal Lazarus programming tutorials. Today we're going to be doing some maths, so let's get to it. Right, so once you've opened up Lazarus Pascal, you want to head over to File, New, and Program. Click OK, and we'll be greeted with a brand new program. I'm just going to close down Notepad. Uh, now we need to save this program before we go any further, just in case Lazarus crashes and we lose all our data. Uh, this is a program I've been working on, so Free Lazarus Pascal, Programming Lessons, and I've changed the name of the folder to 1 and then something else, so I'm going to create this one and call this one 2, and then call it Mathematics. Uh, this is just so I know which order uh, we have done the lessons in, so let's call this one Maths click save. Okie doke. So, we're going to create a couple of spaces so we have program uh, space to program in. And we're going to start off with a couple of simple addition sums. So, we want to start off with our basic right line. And we're going to add two single digit numbers together. So let's do 5 add 5. Now at the moment this isn't going to write anything, so we need a little comma, and that will tell the computer that it needs to do something else on that line. From there, we can put in 5 plus 5, as simple as that, without the quotes, close bracket, and make sure to put a semicolon. We're going to do another sum now, and we're going to have right line, and this time we are going to have uh, 2 add 9. And again, put a little comma and add two nine together. Close brackets. Uh, I'm just going to put make this a little bit neater. Uh, if you want to put an equal sign in there, by all means do. Okay, so now we've got two additions. Let's have uh, a subtraction. Let's do two larger numbers this time. Let's do 15 take away 12 equals a comma and put in the data. Now we don't need an equal sign at the end of the uh, addition of the uh, sum because Lazarus Pascal knows that it needs to do that solely. So let's have another one. Let's do 20 take away 10. Like that. Oops. 20 take away 10 and the semicolon. Put a read line to stop the computer from going any further and waits for an enter press and let's go over, head over to run and let's see what the computer brings back. So we're expecting four lines and for them all to be correctly so 10, 11, 3 and 10 should be the answers. There you go, 5 add 5 equals 10, 2 add 9 equals 11, 5 take away 12 is 3 and 20 take away 10 is 10. Okay, click enter to close. So let's do some more complicated ones. Let's do a multiplication. So right line, let's do uh, 2 multiplied by 7 is equal to something. And at the moment, we need to use the star symbols. That is shift and 8 if you are using a standard, uh, standard keyboard and 2 times 7 and let's have another one let's have uh, 3 multiplied by 4 equals and 3 multiplied by 4 and I'm going to put in a division 2 so right line let's do 12 12 divided by 6 equals 12 divided by 6. Make sure you put in the bracket and the semicolon after every single line. Very important, otherwise you will get an error message. And let's do 15 divided by 3. Equals 15 divided by 3. You use the same notation in the text as you do for the numbers with division. You can't put 2 
x7 it has to be a star sign okay so let's give that a run see what it brings up so it should be the same as before and then 14 12 2 and 5 all well and good, but 2 and 5 seem to have this massive long string of zeros after it. And that is because we haven't told Lazarus to what decimal places we would like the divisions to be. So, click enter. And let's tell Lazarus that we only want two decimal places. To do that, we use a colon, a zero to tell the computer how many spaces to move across, and a 2 to tell it how many decimal places that we want. And again, colon, 0, 2. Let's give that a run. And, ha and there we have it, 2 and 5 with decimal places. To illustrate how this first number works, I'm going to put in 10 on both of them, and we should see that the answer is 10 places across. 10 characters across on the screen. And there it is. So from here, from this equal sign, that is 10 places across at the rightmost place. So that would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. OK. However, we're going to move that straight back to 0 so it is in the same place. There we go. And that is mathematics. Make sure you save your project. I've just done it by doing Control S. But you can go File, Save, or you can click the little icon up there. OK, well, I think that concludes this lesson today. We've done a little bit of maths. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.